Professor Michael Green. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, can I just see everybody for a second? Like the people in 207 and 206. And 228. And how about everybody in 218? Uh, I'd like to make a toast to everybody who uh, came from somewhere else to join us here in the desert. Not, oh, I should drink. But also a toast to all the locals here in Los Angeles. It's about even. You know, this is the smallest, uh, the smallest venue on the tour. It's feeling, it's pretty shiny outside, but it's pretty cozy in here. Um, we're really looking forward to this evening. And um, again, thank you for being here. Our sound guy is named Greg Nelson. We call him Nelly. Nelly, before we kick in, you got the radio turned up all the way? That's a yes. Okay. Are you ready? I think we're ready. Are you ready? Are you sure that you're ready? Come on, I'm ready, are you? Ready? Everybody good? This is uh, this is a love song. Hey, that's Greg. I'm going to change in the microphone. We're going to introduce all the crew guys. Thank you, Greg. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He gets to see the tour and he's here. His name's Andrew. Very, very happy. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, this one's for all the, the dreamers. Hey, uh, I see some good requests out here. I just want to let you know. This, this set list was not made earlier in the day, it was not made yesterday, it was made at 4 in the morning, one of the last few days, so this is one of those after midnight set lists. I, I, I hope I want Mr. Stone Gossett on the guitar here. The great Matt Cameron on the drum kit. Oh, right. And uh, while we're at it, Mr. Jeff Aitman on the low end making up the rhythm section. Cheers. This song was written, uh, 
a little bit about Stevie Wonder. No, 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 no. This song was uh, written a, a little bit about um, um, Stevie Nicks. No, no, this song was written a little bit about a guy called Steve Gleason. Oh, wait, wait, no, this song. <laughs> I keep forgetting. This song was written about Stevie Ray Vaughan. This song's written about the power of music, and, and uh, I guess that could include most all those people. This song's called Waiting for Steve. <laughs> you know, one of our memories of, of uh, I think it was this building. Um, we came back, we, we came here, we, we had a big celebration. Um, because the band was all over. Ten years old. We had this, we had this big party and we, we rented out Liberace's house. It seemed like the most ridiculous thing you could do. And then Stone reminded me tonight that, that you hired some showgirls, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Just to make sure it was even more ridiculous and they were some of the most gorgeous men I've ever seen, I have to say. <laughs> they were packing a punch. It was beautiful. Uh, uh, and then the funny thing is now, you know, like when we, when we turned 30 years old, um, which was not that long ago, uh, it's funny because I feel about the same age as our dad. That's, that's my life. Jeff, you got a 33 on your shirt, is that? 33 on your shirt, 33 and a third, that's very similar. But I think, and I, if I remember right, maybe uh, last uh, couple of years ago, October, 30 years together, right? I, I think we basically just texted, uh, hey man, another going? Good job, 30 years. Pretty good. You good? I'm good. <laughs> so we keep doing it? So you're not going to see me out gambling, you just aren't going to. But, like you, are you going to be here tomorrow? So here's what we're going to do. We're going we're to trust each other. Well, I'm going to trust you. You, you. you obviously trust me. You. <laughs> um, all right. I'm giving you 500 bucks now. One, two, three, four, five. Who's the better gambler? She, it's she who handles the money, and that's an honest man. Let's go. Alright, so you'll be here tomorrow? I will. The next day? Two questions. Um, so here's 500 bucks. Just fucking see if you can double it. I trust you. It was part of the experiment, and, then, and then if you win any of it, we split. Right. You know, she, we think she's an honest woman. I, she's bringing out the honest man in me, and Stone, I took that money out of your backpack. What's 
what's the fine? I think it's $500. You can borrow it from her. I was going to play one like this and then the band was going to come back. Does that sound like a plan? I want to make sure. Reminds me of um, uh, one, one of my one of my memories of, of um, Las Vegas. I, I think it was when I was doing like a solo tour by myself, solo acoustic. I think it was at the Pearl. If there's such a thing. Um, was it also like Halloween or something? Yeah. yeah. By the way, there's a few guys dressed like me. Out there. There's guys in helmets. There's a bull's jacket that I swear was mine. The Elvis suit, that, that was not mine. That, that's all him. Um, but this, this cool thing happened because my wife and I work really hard on this um, cure of this skin disease and, and treating it and curing it. It's called epidermolysis venosa, EP we call it. And, um, and, and towards the end of the night, this woman, I think, dressed like a a peacock or something. She she came up and um, she she put a big wad of cash in my hand and said, if, if if you play the song Black, I will donate this big wad of cash to to EB. So I said, oh, that's very kind of you, but but I'm not playing that song on this tour. It's it's stone song, and I do And then and then more people kept walking up the hallway with cash and some of them bringing checks and all of a sudden it was, it was like three thousand dollars sitting on the front of the stage and, and I thought well then I, I gotta fucking do it <laughs> and, um, it was very powerful to, to, to think that in Las Vegas which you kind of think is like a greedy town that people were were so giving and also because it was Las Vegas they, they had big wads of cash in their pockets um, the money went to a great cause. We, now we've got some treatments for it. We're still working on a cure. And that night was part of it. And it was one of the first times I had talked about it publicly. So it sticks in my memory. And I'm still grateful. And the reason I tell that story tonight is the part I didn't tell anybody ever before was... That night, I took it to the roulette table. <laughs> and I doubled it. Six oh, I wish. I thought about it, though. I really thought about it. Um, yeah, I'm, you know... I have a great relationship. We, I'm in a relationship with everybody in this group. We're all together. I feel like a really lucky man. I think if I went to the to gamble, I'd be pushing. I'm, I'm very happy, and, and um, but you're all here. We are all so happy from the crew. Uh, this is a guy who came from the desert. I want to sing with my own voice, man. Maybe sing.
And, um, you know, when, when you're not on the stage, none of this feels real. And, and to be honest, even when you're on the stage, sometimes it doesn't feel real. And, and when you look out and see this many faces all getting along, agreeing, enjoying each other's company, this is nice to me that they care about. It was just a small part of the equation, but I just want to tell you, we're very, very grateful and we love you so much. It's true. Thank you.